Good afternoon, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Um, today we're uh, going to look at uh, a little bit of machining on some channel irons. <coughs> now, um, what we've got is I've, I've uh, designed a bump stop uh, or a rest stop for uh, the hydraulic uh, um, crane, boom cranes that they put on, uh, on trucks, or the large ones, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 tonne lift ones. Uh, for hire and um, uh, through one of, their, one of their service agents here. Uh, the design has been uh, okayed by the, um, uh, by the manufacturer and uh, I'm now making up, I've, I've made a few, uh, they've been trialled and they're happy with them so I'm making up 20 now. Um, they're quite, they're, there's two different types of bump stop, but this, uh, we'll talk about this one first, the other one's coming a little later on. Uh, what it is is just a small piece of channel iron, 3 inch, 75 millimeter channel iron, um, with two holes in it. Uh, this is a parallel, um, uh, parallel uh, face channel iron. Now, um, and what I've done is I've, I've taken a block of this high density poly, uh, poly uh, urethane, uh, polypropylene, and I've, I've made it so it sits inside and then this 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 channel line gets welded to the to a boom arm and the other boom comes down on it because you've got these folding uh, booms. Um, so this was a trial done with this and they were happy. So of that, but what I did was I um, I reduced the size of the channel line, uh, the flanges as you can see. Um, I machined them down so that. Um, so, so that there's, there's plenty of clearance when the block goes inside, so there's room there for wear. Now what I'm doing is, I'm not using this high density polyethylene, that was just a trial. We're actually using the softer um, polyurethane. And that polyurethane will, will, will sit in, will be a block exactly the same as this. It's being cast as we speak. Uh, over the next week or so I'll get all those castings. Um, so. This will get delivered, gets welded in because it, there's very restricted space, as you know, for these booms that fold on uh, against and, be, and and above and below each other. Um, so that's what we're doing at the moment. So I've, I've made a little setup on the mill here, and I'll um, I'll demonstrate how I've been uh, machining off these um, these flanges. Um, there's many ways of doing it, but um, I've. Uh, I've decided on this particular way, so we'll we'll go ahead and do that. Um, speak, I'll just swing around now, swing the camera around. Um, I've finished one cut. Uh, we're doing this on the small mill, on the clone. And we'll come down here. Maybe we'll come in a little bit. Okay, so what what we've got is just um, a piece of square square bar, and um, and we've just got two two jacks holding them up, uh, just holding it up loosely, and um, and what we do is we're offering up the channel line because these channel lines are um, swing that around um, because these these channel lines are never one hundred percent square; they're hot rolled. Uh, so what I do is I grind them up, grind all the edges up uh, and clean the face and deburr the centre here so we've got a decent pressure to hold it. So it's not ideal, if we could hold it better we'd be able to take more off at one cut but at the minute we're, we're, we're running it through in this direction. So we've finished this cut on this one, now I'm going to flip it over unless I've already done that. We'll just slide that out. Slide it out turn it over and slide it back in and just sits over the top of the gap there and then we lock then we lock her up so we've got a grip we've, we've put a parallel at the back here to give us a bit more height um, we've got the um, uh, this the, 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 so they're being sandwiched between the two it could even be slightly higher um, and I'm running it I'm running a deeper cut uh, when I'm uh, when I'm uphill cutting and a, and a shallower cut on the back on the back fine fine trip and, and just working my way through 
uh, the 7 mil or just over a quarter of an inch to take off each one. It's pretty noisy. I don't know what the speed is. Uh, I don't know what the feed is. The speed is, um, I don't have a, a rev counter on this and I just the feed is just a percentage feed. So off we go. Set this, this is the first cut coming up. As you can hear by the gears and the, the back gears working away there. We can change speed, speed, everything else. This is a half inch or 12 mil cutter. And by the way, it's a roughing cutter. Cold cock. Now there we have it. Now there we have it. That's the uh, the finished thing, both sides been trimmed up. Um, I'll just swing that around again. Yeah, so it's um, the whole thing's pretty simple, and uh, when when we come to the second one, that's a, that's a bit more complex and I'll, uh, I'll feature that in a separate movie. So everybody have a good day.